What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again back with the Bank of the Day, guys. And today we are finally going to pick up our Kalashnikov USA AK 103. So yeah guys, I thought why not bring you guys and girls along for the little vlog of picking this up. And the story on this guy, we're gonna save it for a whole nother video because it took a lot to get this pickup, a lot. Like it was crazy. You'll, you'll learn a little bit later on in a future vid. But we're gonna go pick it up. We're gonna be doing a lot of AK content within the next week or two. So, you know, get, get ready for that, you feel me? We're gonna go pick it up from our local gun store, Main Street Guns and Range. Those are my people over there. We're gonna check out some gun we're gonna check out some of the new guns they might got available just to check out, you know, look around and see what's coming down the pipeline. And it's one particular brand that the store has that I wanna check out because we're gonna have some more 1911s popping up on this channel. So we're gonna head down to Main Street and we're gonna see what's going on. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Loaded one by one. Yeah, how you doing, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I was coming to pick up. So these are some of the brand new 1911s that I'm gonna be checking out pretty soon. These are the, uh, Al uh, the Alpha Fox trots. I'm gonna see about pulling out one, because one of these, which one is it? The S15 right here actually takes uh glock mags glock i believe you forgot 43 mags see the uh the uh alpha fox trot right here the second one nice yeah so this is the one that takes the uh the glock mag and it's threaded double stack 15. I'm gonna be probably more than likely reviewing this pretty soon. And it's nice, you can like, good carry size. Shield arms. Check this one out soon. And I wanna see one, I wanted to see one more. Oh damn, the gold one's gone. Somebody pick the gold one up. Let me see that first uh, one. I think the gold one's under on, on layaway. Well, it's, I think it's on. Uh, oh, just on the table. Ta uh, Tyler's desk. Okay. Yeah, if you need it, just I'll get Tyler or I'll ask Tyler, can I grab it? Yeah, I wanted to show that real quick. Right. This is the other one right here. Very well company, and they're also based out of Duluth as well, Duluth, Georgia. So, I think this is a 10 millimeter one. So yeah, we'll be soon doing some of their content because they make some very nice stuff and they're based out of Duluth. Uh, sorry about so, salute. This is another one. This is actually the last one. This is the last one that they got right here. Nine millimeter, all gold. This thing is crazy. This is a def definite collector's item. 9mm too. Real nice. This is what we are here for today, this beautiful piece of equipment. And to answer you guys' questions, braces are now coming back. I mean, you can see a couple braces here and there. I think we just saw, right here. I just saw the Galil also that they were walking in with, oh, right here, Galil. So, to all you people out there asking, a lot of the stores are now, you know, putting their pistols with their braces. Look at Strybog up there. 
Everything's coming back to how it used to be. And this is the special case right here, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. This radian right here is sick. Of course, the the desert boys. Beauties. I think this one's like a one of these is a 357. That's a 50 AE. I thought they had a 357 one somewhere. Maybe I'm tripping. That Q though is looking more and more nice as well. Now that we could put, you know, a little bit of a brace on there. Got the HK. Got the Nighthawks on deck. One day, one day, one day. Not today though. This is a wacko gun. This has also been sitting for a minute too, bro. They got the they got the UMP, bro. The, the Tommy built UMP with the brace. I've thought about it several times. 45 ACP, not a bad choice. TP9. Oh, can't forget about the HK. I already got one of those, so we good to go. Got one of these too. Seems like the colors have switched over time. Desert Tech. Got the brand back there. Another one that I would not mind getting my hand. I think is it the brand? That's a 556 brand. I'd rather get the the 762 brand. And then they got that Glock Classic, that Gen 1 Glock. Glock 17. Oh, that's a nice one as well. Angle cap. Got tons of Super Duty. A lot of nice stuff. Asked y'all recently too to let me know as far as the Canic world. But I think they kind of like, they have a lot more, but they are gone right now. The Canics, they done been moving them. These are a lot of TP9s, Met, SFT. A lot of these are Cerakoted too. But is that a Canic too? It is. Let me know what to be looking for in the Canic world. We'll eventually come to it. Yeah, I just seen these on their Instagram. Very uh, gangster looking. Yeah, I think these are gonna go to a specific somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might be going, you know. Yeah, bad some guy, bad guy guns. Dude, the Santa Morta on it? Yeah, this is a uh, Cartelli. Saint hmm? Saint Death? Yeah. That's the name of it? Or? No. Uh, these are nice though, but I wouldn't want to buy this because if they're wrong. 45 the, or not? Oh, Saint Morte, yeah. If the wrong individuals knew I got these, they might come after me just to well, get the, uh, there. The this is one of the guns that you, you know, that you you uh you get in Call of Duty, kill the boss, and you get to get the skin or something. Well, the, car <laughs> the cartels were just in here earlier. They oh man, relax, man. All right, y'all. Got the bad boy in. We're gonna put some rounds through it. I think I'll put about two hundred through it right now. Get her, get her a little, get a little more. You feel me? I, I'm gonna use the irons and everything too. I do got an optic for it ready to go down the pipeline, so stay tuned for that. But straight out the box, Kalashnikov, USA, KR103. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Took it out to 25 meters. You didn't feel me? It's AK. Not, you know, not aiming for precision, but we'll take it. Take it out to 30. We're gonna aim for uh, that number seven. Yeah, this is a little rapid fire to see. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I was aiming for seven. You know, just for that rapid fire on you know, AK is uh, it's okay, but it could be better. You know, just 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 testing it out, making sure it uh, it functions. It does.
got a couple more to go. not gonna lie i thought i was gonna be able to get through the whole 200 but this thing is smoking so much it's hard to hold it like and i mean i mean hell we put rounds through it so i would need to let it cool down but i ain't gonna wait that thing is on flizzy right now so we're gonna you know we're gonna call it a day on it we put at least i want to say we put about 200 rounds through there so i ain't mad I'm, I'm good. I think we got enough on this bad boy to put her back in the case and uh, head back to the house to talk a little bit. You feel me? So, yeah. All right, y'all. We finally made it back home. You see it? The case, Kalashnikov USA. Salutes to Kalashnikov USA for actually providing a case with the gun. You feel me? That's, that's an important thing. Storage and protection of the firearm. Is, 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 is always a plus, it's always a plus. Woo! We are clear, guys, we are clear. Just to show you we're clear. We are clear, okay? we are clear. And we got in today the KR-103. Now, if you guys are you know, familiar with this channel, you guys know that this is not my first AK-103, and we actually got the AK-103 from PSA. However, this is the one that I've always wanted. Not to knock PSA at all, and if you guys want to see a comparison of the two, let me know down below in the comment section because I don't mind giving you guys that comparison. The thing is about the KR compared to the PSA's version that this is more so in line clone correct with the original AK-103 model, whereas I believe the PSA's version is more closer to that of a, what was it, of a AKM. So we will be doing some comparisons down the pipeline. It, this one is a foldy. I need a hammer, bro. I always, I, I might got weak fingers or something, bro, but yeah, I got weak fingers, bro. I got weak fingers, bro. I got weak fingers. It is what it is. It's called me weak. Got that foldy on deck. You feel me? That foldy on deck. Ooh, that's a good little picture setup right there. Look at that. Look at that angle, baby. You busting it open for a boy. Damn, she busting it open. That thing is busting it open. Bust. She's busted. Look. Zoom out a little bit. Damn, she's sexy. You see on that thing right there? CHF on there. Let you know that that barrel's chrome lined it. You feel me? Got that chrome lined barrel. You see, I got that melted, got that melted uh, plastic. Also, this thing was melting. We shot about 200 rounds through this, and this thing was was burning. It was burning like Usher. You feel me? But a magnificent piece of weaponry in the building. 762 by 39, man. I have not. Uh, well, I've done a little bit with the six spear, so you know we definitely uh, have introduced some 762 by 39 on this channel but uh we have not did a full-on ak type of video and mainly due to the fact that i just was sl slacking that's all so we did do like i said like an overview but we never like fully shot it all out so we're going to be doing a lot of content around this bad boy right here from kalashnikov usa they also got the uh ak 101 coming out very soon but shooting this thing magnificent no failures to feed nothing whatsoever uh the gun felt amazing in hand it definitely got hot that polymer you know did its job for the most part but it was just too much heat coming through the sides and leaking and i kind of been wondering i want to hear you guys thoughts and opinions down below like should we uh leave it stock you feel me or maybe put an alpha rail on it Put some, you know, put some, the Kalashnikov got some alpha rails, maybe swap it out with an alpha stock. You know, uh, they got the Barard, what is it, the Baradis, and then they got the alpha, alpha rails, I believe. They got a couple different things coming down the pipeline, I believe, as well from them. So, you know, what should we do with this bad boy right here? I would love to 
know and uh, hear it down below in the comment section. I, I love it stock. I left the other one kind of stock. I did put a uh, Midwest Industries uh, hand grip at one point on there, but I ended up taking it off and moving it over to my AK-102, which we haven't done a video on as well. But feel free to let me know. I mean, the gun shot magnificent, as you guys can see. It, uh, there's really no recoil, believe it or not, when it comes to an AK full-on rifle. That 7.62 bullet definitely is a kicker. You got to kick to it. But there's something about the mechanics of the just 103 or any other really AK full size that it mitigates a lot of the recoil. Maybe it has to do with the weight. I don't know, but it's not an issue with me whatsoever. We're definitely going to be doing some videos alongside, though, with different optics. We're going to be running this and having a ball. And uh, we're going to have you guys and girls along with us on that journey so let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below as i stated shot magnificent um no hiccups no errors nothing so i love y'all i appreciate y'all and tell me if you like the vlogs more and more because every time we get a gun in we'll go vlog it doing the first shot breaking it in just straight out the box no oiling nothing we just want to see how the gun functions straight out the box and we did so today with the kalashnikov so let me know okay i love y'all appreciate y'all i'm out Peace.